Today we're taking a look at the new Soldano SLO 100. It's been a long time since I've played a Soldano, but I've always had a really soft spot for these amps, and I've been pretty blown away by this new one. These amps are right up my alley, tonally speaking, covering everything from sparkly cleans to pushed overdrive clipped kind of sounds, all the way up through a really unique, kind of big and brawny overdrive high gain sound. I'd say tonally, this amp sits somewhere between a Marshall JCM 800 and a 5150 or dual rectifier style amp. It's got all of that punch you in the chest muscle that those amps tend to have, but with a bit more pleasing top end and a really rich high gain tone that stays clear even with, you know, thick full voiced chords on the guitar. If you push the gain beyond 3 o'clock or so on the overdrive channel, the tone will thicken up into an almost fuzz kind of sound, and for that reason, I find it to be a bit more of a hard rock style amp versus a super modern tight metal amp, but you can definitely tighten things up with an overdrive pedal if you want to. A few notable features on this amp are the tube buffered effects loop that has a level control on the rear. So I actually have both channel volume set really high on the front, but I'm taming the amp back down with the level control on the back. So it kind of works as an overall master volume for the whole amp. A lot of 100 watt tube amps do not sound great when you have them pretty low volume wise. And this amp sounds great even way down at bedroom levels and things like that. So even if you're not using pedals in the loop, you can still have it engaged and just use that volume knob to control both channels together. Next up, for a high gain amp, the SLO 100 has a super low noise floor. Even with the gain high and the volume cranked pretty loud like it is in here right now, at idle, this amp barely makes any noise, which is great. I typically use a noise gate when I'm running really high gain tones just for, you know, tighter stop start kind of riffs, but it's super quiet on its own. If I was gonna give any critique of this amp, it's that the layout of this amp, how it works, where you have clean and crunch on one channel and then overdrive on channel two, is that you kind of have to choose which two sounds you're going to go with if you're using it in a live situation. And all three of those sounds are so good that it's a bummer to have to choose only two of the three. But again, that's not really a major complaint or anything. I, I love the classic layout of this amp. And personally, I'm a fan of simplified single channel amps and things like that. So it doesn't really bother me personally but I could see folks wanting that three channel layout without having to compromise channel one and whether you're going with clean or crunch or something like that. All in all, this is one of the best sounding, most fun to play and all around personal favorite amps of mine that would easily make its way onto a top five amps list or something like that. But yeah, deserving of the legendary status for sure. If you're interested in checking out an SLO 100, hit the link in the video description below. It helps me out in a big way. So big shout out to the folks at Zounds. I really appreciate you guys all checking out the video and we'll see you next time. Take care.